ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਵੈਲਕਮ ਟੂ ਪੰਜਾਬੀ ਰੀਡਰ 3A ਐਂਡ ਵੀ ਆਰ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਟੂ ਵਰਕ ਔਨ ਲੈਸਨ ਨੰਬਰ 3 ਟੂਡੇ ਲੈਸਨ ਨੰਬਰ 3 ਇਜ਼ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਟੂ ਟੀਚ ਯੂ ਕਪਲ ਡਿਫਰੈਂਟ ਥਿੰਗਸ ਨੰਬਰ 1 ਵੀ ਵਿਲ ਰਿਵਿਊ ਇਸ ਇਫ ਯੂ ਨੀਡ ਹੈਲਪ ਹਾਊ ਕੈਨ ਯੂ ਆਸਕ ਅ ਟੀਚਰ ਫॉर ਹੈਲਪ ਰਾਈਟ ਨੰਬਰ 2 ਥਿੰਗ ਵੀ ਵਿਲ ਲਰਨ ਇਸ ਟਿਪੀ ਐਂਡ ਐਂਡ ਕੰਨਾ ਵਰਡਸ ठीक है सो लेट्स गो हेड एंड गेट स्टार्टेड बट आई लेट्स लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द वन थिंग वी टॉक्ड अर्लियर लास्ट टाइम दैट इन दिस लेवल यू नीड टू रीड एट लीस्ट 30 वर्ड्स पर मिनट पर मिनट हैव यू बीन रीडिंग फॉर 1 मिनट एवरी डे एंड सी हाउ मेनी वर्ड्स यू रीड सो इफ यू हैव नॉट यू नीड टू स्टार्ट टुडे स्टार्ट अ टाइमर एंड देन रीड फॉर 1 मिनट and then see record how many words did you read in one minute okay and if you do it every day you're going to see a big change in yourself to um notice that you are reading so much better okay so start a reading log today with a timer please okay now asking for help this lesson is on page 10 in your book okay so you can listen to me first and then you can go back and read okay there will be times when you may not understand what the teacher says you may need to hear the information again you may need more clarification or you may have some more questions about what was said how will you ask for help in punjabi here are some ways to ask for help when you don't understand what the teacher said when the teacher says samajh aa gayi but you don't understand you can choose one of these responses practice saying these then copy your favorite way to ask for help for help five times on the lines below so there are two ways penji aunty ji uncle ji you can say that any of these right or teacher ji mainu samajh nahi aayi ek bari fir dasna or you can say penji aunty ji uncle ji teacher ji mainu sunya nahi ਇੱਕ ਵਾਰੀ ਫਿਰ ਦੱਸਣਾ ਰਾਈਟ ਓਕੇ ਸੋ ਮੇਕ ਸ਼ੂਰ ਯੂ ਰੀਡ ਥੀਸ ਐਂਡ ਸੀ ਵਿਚ ਵਨ ਯੂ ਲਾਈਕ ਟੂ ਸੇ ਬੈਟਰ ਐਂਡ ਦੈਨ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਟੂ ਕਾਪੀ ਥੋਸ ਹੀਅਰ ਅਮ ਫਾਈਵ ਟਾਈਮਸ ਐਂਡ ਥੈਟ ਇਜ਼ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਟੂ ਹੈਲਪ ਯੂ ਰੀਡ ਪੰਜਾਬੀ ਬੈਟਰ ਐਂਡ ਰਾਈਟ ਪੰਜਾਬੀ ਬੈਟਰ ਓਕੇ ਆਲ ਰਾਈਟ ਸੋ ਥੈਟ ਵਾਸ ਈਜ਼ੀ ਪੀਸੀ ਆਸਕਿੰਗ ਫॉर ਹੈਲਪ ਨਾਓ ਲੈਟਸ ਲਰਨ ਦ ਟਿਪੀ ਵਰਡਸ ਨਾ ਟਿਪੀ ਇਜ਼ ਅ ਸਿੰਬਲ ਇਨ ਪੰਜਾਬੀ that adds the nasal sound it's like this moon that we add up on top of the words right it adds the mm sound to the words tippi is used with mukta words and with some matras and we will learn which matras those are so here they are these are some tippi words dand kan kand kand is a wall hans swan kand sugar amb panj kamb kamb can be feather or wings both kamba kamba this was kamb and this is kamba ganna ganna is sugar cane have you ever eaten sugar cane patang and patanga patanga is a moth anything flying actually in punjabi we call it patanga theek hai so these are some of the tippi words we going to learn some more of the tippy words and then we going to change them into kanna words so here page 11 in your book tippy is a sound modifier symbol that creates new words read and learn these words with tippy and new words with kanna and then you will copy them okay you already saw pictures of some of them so this word is kand kand is sugar when we add a kanna at the end you can say kanda kanda you know kanda right kanda is a sikh symbol you find it in many places people have coat pins with kanda turban pins with kanda kanda is also in our nishan sahab kanda can be on cars uh, as a decoration piece kanda can be um on uh, on the doors in all gurdwaras you will see kanda ornaments right you find kanda many places thand thand is winter or coolness thanda is an adjective it means cold kand is back of the body your your back and kanda is a thorn when a splinter goes into your skin that's a kanda 
ਕੰਡਾ ਚੁੱਭ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਹੈ ਪੰਜ ਇਸ ਫਾਈਵ ਪੰਜਾ ਇਸ ਏ ਹੈਂਡ ਪ੍ਰਿੰਟ ਵਿਦ ਆਵਰ ਫਾਈਵ ਫਿੰਗਰਸ ਦੰਦ ਇਸ ਏ ਟੂਥ ਔਰ ਮੈਨੀ ਟੀਥ and then danda is times of the fork okay they are sharp gand dirt or garbage and ganda dirty is the adjective band close banda is a man or human kan is ear and kanna is a matra we use right this is a kanna right here gan is a gun right pistol ganna is sugar cane dand is noise sometimes your mummy or daddy may say dand na pa don't make noise danda is a rod or a stick kamb is wing or feathers and kamba is a pole usually a telephone pole or electricity pole bomb is a bomb right explosive bamba is an engine okay if you go to punjab you can go to bamba in the field patang is a kite patanga is a mat jungle is forest and jungla is fence jungle again is jungle or forest and jungal we put a kanna at a different place it becomes rust okay now for a monday homework you read the punjabi words from this page can't you read them in one minute how many words are there there are 15 here and 15 here right can you read them in one minute you will read like this kand tand kand panj dand gand band kan gan dand kamb bamb patang jungle jungle and then you read these khanda thanda kanda panja danda ganda banda ikanna ganna danda khamba bamba patanga jangala janga right we less them we read less than one minute so i think you can do it too all right so excellent now here are the words and here are the meanings you're going to connect these words with the meanings what is kanda and is right here so you will draw a line let's see if i can get my annotation tool and draw a line with this kand is kanda kanda thand thand means winter right so this is how you're going to do it all right excellent then for tuesday the homework is you have to copy these words three times kand 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 tand 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 say the words when you write them okay so you can do one row in one day and second row in the, in the other day and then that's it so this is 3 days of homework i hope you have learned to read fast to read um fluently and you're becoming a better punjabi reader and i will see you in the next lesson very soon thank you for working with me wahiguruji ka khalsa wahiguruji ki fateh